Hello, and how are you today? So, as you can see, uh, Cardboard Me is missing again. So, I am using this as my stand-in. <laughs> Foil Sorcerer. <laughs> so, today we are putting like 16 or 17, 17 cards into our uh, reserve list book binders. Which is officially going to put us uh, over the 1,200 card mark for all cards in our in the binders, and um, our average TCG value puts us at around 2,800 dollars so far. It's slowly building up. I mean, we've we've been starting from the bottom, starting from the bottom, and working ourselves up. So we're filling holes, and a lot of these are going to be, at least this shipment is going to be stuff that is, um, that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, this will be the last update until, uh, our next 100 card level. So now we're passing 2,800 cards, or I'm sorry, 1,200 cards. When we hit the 1,300 card mark is our next video for this. So... Let's start. We've got Sitno Druid. Not only that, we've got two of them. So we open up. Slide this over. Book one of our reserve list binders. And yeah, you know, there's some others that we put in here since last last time. So you will be able to see, and if you remember from the last video, you just be able to, I don't remember what I've put in here since last time, but I will go slow. I do, yeah, I know, showing off a little bit, even though it's not like a really cool stuff for the people who know their, uh, their reserve list cards, they know it. Most of my stuff is lower end stuff. I mean, basically it's all lower end stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm poor, so I have lower end stuff. But I'm slowly knocking us up there. And yes, we've cracked 1,200 cards. That's because we're doing, we're filling out play sets. So you know, one card, four, you know, four cards, sixteen. Yeah, you know, so that's part of the reason why. But uh. Our card average, uh, with what we're adding, is taking us an average value per card of uh, 226 and change to 232 and change. And it's $2.32. Uh, as we, you know, get the better cards, we obviously will slowly bring that average value uh, per card up. So, oh, our Citadel, there we go. Citadel Druid goes here. Yeah. Boop. Pull that out. Replace it with our two Druids. Half of a playset. So probably next time I go through get cards, I'm probably just gonna go through what cards I have. And I'm just gonna pick cheapest stuff, fill out play sets. And probably our next big video. Oh see last I added this I know I added a city of solitude since last time. Oh, what do we got now? Oh. Now we've got Donate. Ooh, blue. So uh, that way I'll be, you know, filling out play sets between now and then. Eventually we'll have to, you know, get more stuff. I also look, like I said, you know, Dark Pact. Here's our reserve Dark Pact. Eventually, you know, unlimited beta, alpha, and that's a long time out. But we're getting there. You know, Demonic Horde. I gotta get three more of those from Revised. Uh, donate. Boom, see, and then this, there's donate, but then, 
you know, there's also a foil version of Donate, and I count those as separate, separate jammies. So someday, and those aren't cheap. Now we've got a Frenetica Freak. So as we continue on, I do believe this book here. That whole thing. <laughs> Um, book one only, I believe, gets us up into the G's. No, like I started, you know, once again, Farmland Revised, Farmland Unlimited. See, I've started, and see, here's my Unlimited Fast Bond again. I point that out every time, because there's the revised ones. And, as you know, I am, I do try to make things right. See, Frankenstein Monster. I have one of those coming in, in, in the mail, so the next video you see, you may not see me put Frankenstein's Monster in there, but it's gonna be there. I might have a Fungal Bloom coming, too. So what we got next? We got Griffin Canyon. Oh, that might be, that might be a book, too. That might be a book, too. There's our Goblin Flotilla. There is our Granite Gargoyle. Oh, wait. Griffin Canyon, right up there. And slide that out, slide that in. What do we got next? Hidden Path. Okay, that's definitely gonna be book two because we only got one more page. And Gwendolyn de Quartzy is the end of this book. Ugh. All I do one of these days have to go through all of them again. And there may be a couple of foil ones I might be missing. Not positive, but I will have to look. So why don't we just take this one and we'll just set it over here. As we uh, get book two. Open that up for our hidden path. It's not on page one this time. Mm -hmm. And there we are, hidden path. Right there. Slide that out. Slide that path in. Bloop. And we've got Infernal Tribute. Page. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. N I N. There we are. Infernal tribute. Yes, sir. And we got that one started. We got next. We've got Knights of Thorn from the Dark. A white and three for a two-two protection from red and banding. One a lot of people didn't understand. It's all right, though. Can't get it all. I figure... Yeah. We got it. We got it. We got it. King Solomon. Go to an outpost. Oh, Knights of Thorn. Over here. Ooh, doo, doo. Slide that in. All right. Now we've got some leeches. Target player loses all poison counters. Leeches deals one damage to that player for each poison counter removed in this way. All right. So you get past a couple of things. You know, our Kuju over there. During mm -hmm. Gargoyle. Wait a minute, there it is. Leeches. Pull that out, put the leeches in. Sucking blood. Sucking the blood. And we got Martin Stromgold. Summon legend. Two red and two for one one. If Martin Stromgold attacks, all other attacking creatures get plus star plus star until end of turn, where star is equal to the number of other attacking creatures. If Martin blocks, all the blocking creatures get plus star, plus star, to end of turn, where star is equal to the number of other blocking creatures. 
I can see where that could be useful. Especially if you got like, uh, if you toss him in with some, uh, some slivers and whatnot. You attack with a bunch of slivers and him. Woohoo! White weenies. So, all right, let's go find Martin. Martin. Raxus. There we go. Martin from God. Go over here and put Martin in the car. All right. The next. After Martin, we have a Might Stone from Antiquities. Yeah, look at that. All attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero. So her, the Might Stone, and Martin together would really uh, give a little bit of a bonus there, huh? Okay. Um, no worker. There we are, Mightstone. Slide this over there. And now we've got Paradigm Shift. Remove all cards in your library from the game. Shuffle your graveyard into your library. Mm. For one white, for one blue, and one. And there's the mox pages we'll never fill. More moxes will never fill. Those will be some lonely, lonely pages. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we are. Paradigm shift. Right here. Right before the pauper's cage. Slide that bad boy right in there. Now, pendril mists. A blue and three. Each creature gains during your upkeep, pay one, or bury this creature. That's a... Uh... Yeah, buddy. This should be what? Next page? Next page, right there. Pendril Mist, right up here. Oh, yeah. Slide that out. Slide that in. And right after that, we'll slide this one right out. Because... We got a Feldegriff. And a triple color legend. And then we get to turn the page because next is Phyrexian Negator. Right there. Ooh. And it's going to go right over here. Did I put down too many indicators? Nah, it should be all right. Uh, and then, wait, wait, wait. Phyrexian Purge comes next. Pay three life per target. Destroy any number of target creatures. For red, a black, and two colorless. Mm. All right. Next and last... Seeds of Innocence. Is S in this book? I think S might be on in book three. That doesn't mean we can't flip through the pages. You can see where we're looking at here. Rainbow Veil. Vale. I love that card just because of the art. Righteous War has pretty neat art, too. Not gonna lie. Righteous War. Yep. Ring of Maruf is the end of book two. And lastly, book number three. So we put our seeds of innocence away. Open up to the R's. Doing pretty good there. Hope. 
right. Some rock hydras. Sawback manticore. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. And there we are. Seeds of Innocence right up here. Right after the sedge troll. Boop. That's all the cards we're putting in, but, you know, we're already this far. We may as well continue our little journey through the book. Oh, 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 oh. Moxman. Some excavations. Oh, yeah. And a digger. And a golem. The golem running the digger at the excavations. <laughs> Damn. We were definitely, definitely coming along. In figure, if you count the multiple versions of the cards, I think I said before we're up in the seven hundred some total, and then times four, so you're gonna have like twenty nine hundred cards probably, eventually to fill get all the spaces filled. So, maybe someday. Maybe someday. I might think maybe, you know, by the end of this year, I may get my first, my first dual land. Yeah, maybe I'll just invest in it just so I have one really good card. Just so I don't feel quite so bad showing off all the, all the poor man stuff. But, it's all right. And how many people even collect reserve list cards no more? I, I don't even know. There's too many youngsters that are probably doing it. Well, I may not even know about it. There we go. So, 67. So, Zuberi Golden Feather is the last on the list. And I think that's uh, number 730. I know there's only 570, 590, something like that, officially, but like I said, you know, ABU, R printings and stuff like that, foils on some, brings us up to like 730 around, so, that's that, <coughs> thanks for coming by, thanks for watching, and uh, check in uh, the next, uh, we get to around 1300 mark, alright, party on, see you later, goodbye.